Hello everyone, this is Darth Snowy here. Back to the realm of the comics. I'm going to talk about some the more obscure comics of the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And this one is something I wish would have been depicted in a novel rather than a comic. But what can you do? This was published about two years after Vision of the Future. So by that point, the New Jedi Order series was already underway. It was like in the third or fourth book at this point. And this basically detailed the wedding between Mora Jade and Luke Skywalker and the implications that it had. Now, what do I think of this? Actually, before I talk about the story, I'm just going to talk about, you know, if you have not read anything up until this point, I would not read this. Union, you know, assumes that the reader has, you know, read a good chunk of the expanded universe to appreciate it. Because, you know, there's characters that those who have not read a, at least a good chunk of these would not, will not be f familiar with. Though, I don't think you need to read everything. If you read, like, the Thrawn trilogy, you know, the Jedi Academy trilogy, Blackfeet Crisis, the Canolian trilogy, the X-Wing books, you'll be familiar enough with those characters. But I, I do believe that if you're reading it for Mora and Luke, I believe it's better to at least have read the Thrawn trilogy and the Thrawn duology. You'd hand it Thrawn in order to actually appreciate it. Though, you would appreciate it more if you read the other stuff. This was four issues. This is very pricey and really hard to find. Now, since this is a comic book, I have to, sh I have to showcase, ask, what do I think of the art? I think the art is really good, actually. And so is the writing. I feel like, you know, these these the characters are completely in character. You know, then again, you have some people who, who are familiar with these characters, such as, you know, Stock, Michael Stockpole, who's a really good writer. And the characters look like themselves. Of course, you have people, you know, former Imperials and some people in the Republic that are skeptical about the wedding and, don't, and want to put a stop to it. Now... The plot is kind of basic and easy, you know, There, it is kind of a, a more of a romance co comic, but to be honest, I don't mind that. I mean, honestly, as someone who is a Luke and Mora J fan, you know, there aren't that many stories that featured those two together compared to Han and Leia. And to me, that, that's a special treat. Now, does this comic stand on its own? No, it doesn't. Like I said earlier in the review, you need prior knowledge on the various characters, like jumping to this right after, you know, let's say as your first comic in the expanded universe, this will not be a good way to introduce you to Mora Jade or Luke or any of the other characters that may make some cameos. Though it is kind of nice to see characters that have not, you know, appeared in the books, you know, in comic form. I think Mora, I think, looks closer, close to how I imagine her looking like. I do think it's a really good story. I think it's, it, it, it is kind of something I enjoyed reading. I really did. And it felt satisfying. And in my opinion, it's, it, it could be a good ending to the, to the Star Wars EU if you wanted your timeline to end after Vision of the Future. Just consider this an epilogue. The art is really good. It really is. This is kind of pricey, so do I recommend tracking it down if you have already read Vision of the Future and you want to, you know, see, you know, Luke and Mora's, you know, how their marriage was depicted, you know, at least their wedding? It's not needed, honestly. It's still a good read. I still enjoyed it as a Mora and Luke fan, but you're not going to miss out on much if you skip it. Now, if you have yet to read an EU, you know, book or comic, what the hell are you doing watching my videos? <laughs> After you've read a good chunk of the expanded universe up until that point, and you're interested in reading this, then read it. I'd give this a good rating. However, it, it is not the best. There's better comics out there. But it's a good comic for a Luke and Mora fan like myself. So, there you go. 
Next time, I'm going to talk about another obscure comic that is very hard to find. Later, everyone.